Hey, what's going on, Weavers? Tim here again, and paracord neck lanyards have always been a bit of a point of contention in the community. While they are useful for keys and ID cards, there is always the risk of being choked by the cord around your neck, whether it be from catching on something or, well, you know. Anyhow, today I wanted to show you how to make a simple paracord lanyard that has two methods of breaking away, one of which is just a simple knot. To get started, we'll need some paracord. I'm using some Red 550. We'll need some hardware. You can use a carabiner or keyring, but I'm gonna use this Night Eyes s -beaner. Lastly and optionally, you can use one of these breakaway barrels, but I will show you the breakaway knot. Now with my paracord, I'm gonna fold it in half. And with the running ends, I'm going to take them and pass them to the left side through the front of the carabiner and the right side through the back of the carabiner. And then from there, I'm going to pull the strands through, and this is going to form the length of my lanyard. I would suggest making the overall length about 19 inches or 48 centimeters, but you can adjust this to your liking. The amount of paracord used should give you a bit of leeway. Now for the cobra knots. With the left cord, pass it over the core strands and under the strand on the opposite side. The right strand goes behind the core strands and through the crook on the left. Cinch up the first cobra knot, firm it up, and now a quick tip for cobra knots, whichever side has this vertical knot on it is the side with the lead strand, and that strand once again passes over the core strands and under the opposite. Then the opposite strand goes behind the core strands and out the crook on the opposite side. Pull tight and continue tying those cobra knots. It's really up to you how long you want to make this cobra knot section. I just kept going until I ran out of cord. From here, just snip off the excess strands, give them a melt with a lighter and press down on them to lock them in place. Now when you melt your cords, there tends to be a white spot in the middle. And one solution for getting rid of this is just to color it in with a Sharpie marker. So at least now it's a solid color. At this point, the lanyard is usable, but the necklace is fixed. So if it getting caught on something is a concern for you, we've got options. First and easiest option is the breakaway barrel. I'm going to snip the midpoint of my neck loop and melt the ends to seal them. Just separate the two halves and then thread one side through one side of the barrel. Then give the end a bit of a melt and press down on the end to mushroom it out so that it doesn't slip through the barrel. And do the same on the other side. We now have a breakaway version using this barrel connector and it works great. Very easy to disconnect and reconnect. Now, if you don't have any barrel connectors or you just don't want to buy any, we can tie a breakaway knot that will function about the same. With my left cord, I'm going to bend it and form a bite. Then with the right cord, I'm going to wrap two loops around the bite, crossing over in the middle, and then passing the running end under the loops from the right to the left, then cinch up the knot. And that's our breakaway knot. If you pull on the ends, this knot will disconnect, thus preventing a choking hazard or if you want to remove the lanyard without taking it off over your head. It's not as convenient as the breakaway barrel, nor does it disconnect as easily, but it does work as needed. So there we have two ways of making a breakaway paracord lanyard. Now let me know in the comments if you think a breakaway function should be on all neck lanyards, or if it's really just dependent on your environment that you're using it. Drop me a comment down below. Huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters, Feel free to check out my Patreon page if you're looking for some exclusive content.